I met my friends from yesterday. They've been helping me interpret with him. So right now, I left my Wi-Fi in the bag and I'm trying to like, use his own Wi-Fi to communicate across to him. Highway Coast, officially known as Côte d'Ivoire, is one of the most economical developed countries in West Africa, known for its cocoa production and diverse culture. However, in terms of population, it is not the most populous country in Africa. Nigeria holds a title with the largest population on the continent. It's a country on the southern coast of West Africa. Its capital is Yamusokoro, in the center of the country, while its largest city and economic center is the port of Abidjan. Yeah, no. You Senegal? Why? Me Nigeria. Why? Yeah. Nice meeting you people. Nice its official people. language is French, and indigenous languages are also widely used. Okay, it obviously feels like I'm outside Nigeria, right? Because when we were checking Google, I was like, nah, we don't feel anything like oh, we're outside the country or here about or something. But it feels different, like, they are rich here, it's beautiful. And they drive rough than the Goshans. If the Goshans think they do the best of it, because these guys actually drive rough than they do. So it's been nice in this country, like, I saw a lot of companies that I was not expecting to be here or something. It's morning and I'm trying to, like, like, like check the walk. Yeah. Uh, my guys are still sleeping and stuff, so yeah. I don't know I'm always missing your name. Wait, is the cop still available? Okay, second one, okay. All right, guys. So right now I'm preparing to leave the house. I just waited. My tour guide is around because I've been having so much fun on this um, rich end side. So I want to like go deep into the street, you know, have a feel of Abidjan as a man who doesn't have like enough currency at that. Have like a taste of their meal, drink their sachet water, just you know, communicate with people, just just be in the city foot on, not like I'm moving around in Uber and stuff. So right now I just have to comb my hair, pack my bags, get enough cash and hit the road. This is what I go to just to put, just to, this is why I go to just to educate people back at home. So make sure you hit the like, comment and subscribe button guys. Bye.
Okay. So guys, combing my hair is not always that easy. I'm having headache right now from the little thing I just combed. Let's go out. Let's go out. Let's go. All right, guys. Welcome to Côte d'Ivoire, which is Ivory Coast in English language. So the country got its name from the word ivory, which is like the elephant stocks, like the elephant ivory, uh, which they would sell back in the early 90s to the Westerners that came to their country at the coast. So like, okay, everybody just tied to the country or the Westerners tied to the country, Ivory Coast in English language. But in French, it's Côte d'Ivoire, and it has like another name in Spanish. Yeah, and um, I think it's a thing that you have to pronounce or refer to this country as Côte d'Ivoire when you're inside the country, you need to speak French because it's a French speaking um, country. Ever since I've been traveling, I've never been to a country that has two capitals, but this country has um, two capitals. Uh, one is like uh, the economic and largest capital, which is Abidjan, that's literally like uh, Lagos in Nigeria, and um, the political capital, which is um, Yomosukuru, uh, which is our own Abuja. So apparently a lot of like big, big things, big, big um, infrastructures are in, uh, what's it called, they are in Yamosukuro, like the biggest in the best Yamosukuro. Then guess what? This country is home to the biggest church all over the world. It's the Basilica, at the country's capital. That's the kind of political capital, Yamosukuro. I've tried to tell Gogo. Gogo was arguing, and I met a lot of um, indigenous or um, citizens and um, non-citizens. That's the Lebanese themselves. So. Okay, so they actually testified like, "Oh, I should don't believe what I'm seeing on Google, Google That is bigger than the Basilica in Rome." Basilica. Basilica. Okay, so I said um, I checked Gogo. Gogo said that was false. It's not the biggest. So <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest. So I shouldn't believe what I see on Google and stuff. Oh. Uh, Google is jealous. Yes. It's jealous. Wait, are you a citizen of this place? Are you serious? What? I was gonna like probably guess like probably Egypt, Mauritania, and all of those places. Huh? As a Nigerian traveling tribe, because I think I found a lot of um, similarities compared to my country. Um, Abidjan is literally like Lagos. Abidjan is Lagos speaking French. Like, just imagine everybody in Lagos just start speaking French one morning. You wake up one morning and they're speaking French. That's what is happening here in Abidjan. Everything is the same thing. Like yeah. Just English just and my local language. Yeah, I'm like, sorry. Just English. English is enough. Yeah. Uh, in my country, sure, English is enough. Like, that's just general. Yeah. Sorry, come again. What is Sandra. It? Sandra. Yeah, Sandra. That's Sandra in English. Yeah. What about yours? Lina, Lina. Oh, Sandra and Lina. Yes. Okay, guys, meet Sandra and Lina. I think they're my new friends now in um, Ivory Coast. It's beautiful here in Abidjan. Like, if you can survive in Lagos, you can survive here in Abidjan. And um, the exchange rate is. It's crazy compared to Nera. Apparently, the country shares border with Mali, Burkina Faso, Ghana, Guinea, and Liberia. Yeah. Wi Fi here is very expensive. Just to buy the Wi Fi module, um, it was 30,000 CFR, which is approximately almost 80,000 Nera, and that's without data. Uh, this is the office I am lucky to like, be passing by. I came to this office, Orange. I just walked away. I went to MTN office. So for the Wi Fi, I spent. Um, 53,000 safer as uh, I got the MTN Wi Fi for unlimited amounts and stuff. Video really surprised me, and uh, I think I figured they have like different vehicles, different vehicles for different districts. I've entered the orange, this is green. I think they go to like various a variety of uh, districts. So, say hi to my tour guide, his name is Elijah. Can you speak French to them? Like, for like French or something? So, French, eh, uh, Kimwani French. Okay, Abidjan. this is Abidjan. Yeah, I've learned a lot of French lately. So, um, um, Jemapel Tijani, uh, welcome to Aquaba. Yeah, that which is welcome. And um, bonsoir, monsieur, bonsoir, mademoiselle, merci beaucoup. So, we just arrived at the location where it's rough, and my tour guide is telling me I have to keep my camera in my bag and stuff. I don't even know how I want to vlog now, but that's the vehicle I want to enter. I stopped. Even I had to check my window was locked, but I know that one from Lagos. You have to always lock your window. So here is like the 5,000 notes, which is literally how much I'm going to be paying for this ride right now. Just having a city tour. Sorry. 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 Sorry.
pretty pretty rough yeah man guys it's so rough like no no okay. i just got the best the best of the best drink man like it's a live extracted pineapple juice and it tastes so nice man bro this thing is thick and nice man Okay, Wally. Wow. Sorry. Ben. So it's pretty much wow in here. Any Nigeria that comes, I'm sure before you purchase anything, you're gonna be like running extra like yo, this is eight thousand naira. Yo, okay, so for the Ubers I've been entering so far, I've been paying like minimum 3,000 safer and the maximum 6,000 safer. So 3,000 safer is literally almost like 7,000 Naira or 8,000 Naira thereabout. So yeah, the road here are well towed, like yo, just like that of Namibia, but I wouldn't want to compare it. I wouldn't want to say the whole, um, all of Africa, but I'm just gonna, you know, shorten it to West Africa. Yeah, Bogana, Nigeria, nah, I don't think your road is as good as as good as what it's here in our Cote d'Ivoire. Sorry, I don't want to say because I'm always wanting to pronounce it right. Cote d'Ivoire. Very hey good, guys. That was for 600 Sefa compared to all of the money I've been spending since, man. It's fun. We have stars. There's a pharmacy. We have this is like the closing hour. People are closing at their shops and they are headed home and stuff. So I'm headed to the bus station where I'm gonna buy the bus in which I want to see. Guys, I tried to catch up with this vehicle. I wanna enter it but it's filled up. No go see wala. I tried to enter it but it's filled up as you can see. And I was prepared. I backed my bag to the front, but here you go. See how many populations are inside. So I'm just gonna save my money and head home already, or just buy something here in the market and stuff. Yeah. Very crazy. All right, guys. So I'm deep in the city right now, deep in the slum. So like you can see, kids. Hey, sorry, sorry. You can see kids playing all around the street. Like it feels like. Feels like I'm back to Nigeria right now. No more the old rich life forever. So I can see a lot of footwear and stuff here beside me and behind me and stuff. So it's been so it's it's been fun so far though. Like now I feel very much like I've been to Ivory Coast, like you know, deep into Ivory Coast and stuff. So there's my tour guide. It's been fun really though. It's been fun. I So here's what I'm saying that even inside the streets in the slum, right? The roads are well tied. All that just happened is death and stuff. So here yeah. I forgot to even mention, do you know Drogba? Did that Drogba grew up here? Yaya Ture is from here. Like they have a lot of football stars and stuff, man. Tomorrow we have to go watch the match. Then, or what's it called? On Saturday we have to go to Yomusokoro. And today I learned like a little bit of French. Now I can tell you bonjour, bonsoir, monsieur, bonsoir, mademoiselle. And I know the currency now. We have a mil franc. Yes. Then um, two is <laughs> do mil franc. Then um, trust me, franc. Then we have um, for for ten thousand. I said then mil. Then mil franc. Then Sebien is how much? Right? Combien, okay, combien is how much then um um what's it called? Keske says like what is it? Yes, um, bravo, yes. congratulations. Okay, bravo, congratulations, through that. I see I'm picking up, I'm picking up, I'm picking up guys. I'm becoming an Ivorian already, so I'm like splitting myself into like each country, it's like half Namibian, half Nigerian, half Angorian. I'm uh, sorry, Ivorian. Alright guys, peace out, bye. This was what I was telling you about traffic in Abidjan, right? As you can see. 
vehicles are behind me like there's always traffic here so it was actually fun and i literally just spent 40,000 so far which is um times 2.3 in nigeria currency just to go out on my own and have fun because i've been going to too many high-end places and restaurants and stuff and i just wanted to have like a few of the country so i bought it like the um what's it called i bought it the small vehicle that's a uh, the downfall of hours in Lagos, that's the downfall in Lagos, Nigeria. I bought it, their version which you enter through the booth. And there was this BRT that is like a, an elongated version I wanted to afford, but I could not afford it because um, what's it called? The queue was too much, like people were so 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 too much in the in the vehicle, like I just did not want to risk it and stop. So here I am in Abidjan, it's actually safe where I'm hard, so I can always pull up my camera and stuff, like you know, live like I, I should. And yeah, so guys, all in all, Abidjan is a very nice place. It's a good place to find work, you know. Then go back home to Nigeria for vacations and stuff. Remember, I told you guys, everything is not about London, it's not about UK, um, it's not about USA, it's not about Canada. There are a lot of gems to be discovered here in Africa, man. Like, remember I told you how Namibia. And to Namibian family, big shout out and thank you so much for your love so far. A lot of my Namibian fans are actually They've been disturbing me saying, uh, my bro, my bro, I think I've walked past the house. I don't know. I don't have an idea, but I'm kind of lost now. I'm not supposed to walk this much to the house. So it's kind of getting weird and awkward now. So as I was saying to my Namibian family, bye. Oh, sorry. I said bye to my Namibian family. Thank you very much for your love and support. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for always coming to my DM, telling me what's up, what's happening, why haven't you dropped a content and stuff. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate y'all. And I'm a big Namibian, man. I'm African. I'm Nigerian. I'm Namibian. <laughs> okay. So, okay, okay. I think I'm on the right track. Yeah. It's looking familiar now. See what I said earlier about the queue and traffic. Can you see how long this traffic is? I've been walking the whole of this street and the traffic is like very, very hectic. And I can promise you that this is way, way, way longer past my house. That's my Airbnb apartment and stuff. And here in this country, they have like, like varieties, varieties of vehicles. Their vehicles are crazy, man. Look at their road, it's well tied. So like they have a lot of vehicles here. You know when you're in Nigeria, you're thinking you've seen all the car brands, like everybody's rich, bro. Vehicles are here, brands that you've never ever heard about, they're here. So um, to my new fans here, Aquaba, to my French family, now I can speak French. I'm greeting you, bonsoir. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, mademoiselle. Welcome to Côte d'Ivoire. It's been fun here. Fun here, fun in your country. And uh, yeah, I would always come back to Ivory Coast just for vacation and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's my apartment behind me there. Okay, let me focus on it. That's my apartment. I'm home. I made it. Hey guys, it's the quarter final match. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm working on With everything I've seen so far, reviewed like so far, I've come to agree with them that Happy John really is like the most developed, um, is the most developed city in West Africa because I never expected everything I'm seeing. When I reviewed, like planning the trip down here, when I was seeing like few videos, I was like, nah, this city is indeed seeing here, but like getting here, stepping my foot here so far, it's been great. And I don't know if I've mentioned this 
at the moment to convert Abidjan's um to convert Sepat Nera at the moment to the time to Pakistan. So every Uber I've been entering so far is at 5,000. The most minimum I've entered is 5,000 Sepa. So 5,000 per two point three. That's about 12,000 or thereabout. Which is very much expensive, and I know 12,000 Nera at Uber in Lagos. I know I passed by bank. Probably it's way too much. <laughs> so right now guys, we are at the beach and that is Ghana. Ghana is the direction. Okay, right here you can see four pillars and inside those pillars embedded are uh, speakers so they aren't ordinary um, pillars then each of these chairs you're seeing they have like air condition embedded in the handrest so like it's not like every air condition is installed around the building it's installed in the furniture then um, right there where you can see people surrounding that's like an oily water that you get to drink then those two um, boxes you can see behind those pillars are like the confession box they're using um, using Catholic and up here where we are um, I think around it, right, uh, Bible stories, you can see the windows, or Bible stories, they aren't just images or something, they are like Bible stories for us to interpret, both up and down. Then, most of all these things were not, most of the materials in constructing these are not from Ivory Coast, they actually ship them out from most countries, Italy and many others I can't mention. This is a confession box, Father and yourself will sit, so... Here is the holy water. I want to take out of the holy water. So I think I asked if they fetch inside it. They said no, that it comes up from down. So, yeah, it's actually tasteless. And this is the second time I'm drinking it. All right, guys, uh, I'm tired. I'm exhausted because the staircase I took to get to this um, top part is hectic, man. So, um, yeah, in the basilica, right <coughs> inside the church, they said it um, it occupies uh, eighteen thousand people. So seven thousand can sit and eleven thousand stands inside the church auditorium. Then um, outside, that's where we see the sixty-four pillars on left, sixty-four on right. It um, occupies one hundred and fifty thousand people, which is on three acres. And for the French um, garden, it occupies that's, that's seven acres actually in size. And most of the materials inside the church here, um, they they were shipped from like outside the country. And I I took my time to pray. Sorry, you can't sit. I took my time to pray. Did you pray? Yeah, I prayed. Do you want to tell us your prayer? Or you want to keep it to yourself? I prayed for Nigeria. Okay. They say, Holy, do you believe in the holy water? Uh, uh, nah, I, I'm not as superstitious. Okay. I